What's up everyone? It's your boy Norn Rad 89 here bringing you another video today and for today's video we're going to be talking horror of course. Horror is my favorite genre. If I was to go to an island and they were like what genre of film are you taking with you? I would take horror but today more in detail we're going to be talking about my five favorite sub-genres in horror because there isn't just horror there's a lot more to it than just that. There's werewolf films, zombies, body horror, slashers, all kinds of stuff like that. And today we're going to talk about my list of my five favorites. And of course, this is just my list. So I would love to hear from all of you in the comments section. Share your list of your favorite subgenres of horror that you have. So let's kick this list off with number five in my top five favorite subgenres is going to be horror comedy. So my favorite, one of my key key favorites is Idle Hands. That was probably a very early one in introducing me to like the horror comedy aspect. Return of the Living Dead, Shaun of the Dead, those are some good ones. Zombies, there's a lot of good zombie comedy like horror films out there. So they kind of blend the genres a little bit. And that's what's great is because horror can sometimes be very thick content. You know, it could be very heavy and to watch thick, serious horror content all the time, it could kind of get daunting. So it's nice to have comedy elements sprinkled in and have good movies like that. Like Once Bitten is another good one with Jim Carrey or uh, So I Married an Axe Murderer. That's another great horror comedy. There is a lot out there. And I think those are good ones too to introduce new people, new fans to horror because some people are uncomfortable with horror. So a good way to introduce them is like, oh, you, well, you like comedy, right? Let's, let's dip your toe in a little bit of horror comedy to let you experience it, and then maybe you can try some more serious stuff. So that's why I really love horror comedy as well. Like, it's always great to see some cool kills and practical effects, but it's awesome to laugh too at the same time. Coming in at number four, this leans kind of into the comedy horror. We'll travel right into zombie films, and there are some serious zombie movies too I love, like George A. Romero's Night of the Living Dead, Dawn, Day, all those ones are very serious zombie films, and I like those. But as I said, zombie films do lean more into comedy territory sometimes, too. Like Return of the Living Dead is great, that franchise. Return of the Living Dead Part 3 is one of my favorite favorites, and they're just so good. Resident Evil franchise is another good kind of franchise. It did kind of lean more into the action territory, but having the zombies in it is just my favorite thing about zombies is that it feels like something that could actually happen. And like when people, when, when they were really taking off and The Walking Dead was coming out again and zombies were becoming a really big thing after they were really saturated for a long time, they started coming out with those zombie survivalist guide books and how to, how to survive it if it actually happened and how it would go down and stuff like that. So it, it's just awesome that it became such a good subculture of horror where people just were accepting. And like now that we have, like I said, Walking Dead, like TV shows like that on TV, you can watch with your family and people love it and that's what I mean zombies it became more accessible and more accepted and I like that factor it's like yeah for a while they kind of disappeared for a moment you know there was a little saturated people were over with it and then zombies came back with a vengeance coming in at number three is going to be science fiction horror and when horror is my top top in genres of film science fiction is a close second I'm a huge Star Wars fan Star Trek stuff like that so when you take science fiction and you blend it with horror you get stuff like Predator, John Carpenter's The Thing, Aliens, Alien, all that kind of stuff. Pandorum is another great science fiction horror film too. So when you take my two favorite genres and you blend them, of course that's going to climb right up my list as one of my favorites. And oh man, there's so many good science fiction horror films. And what's great about science fiction horror is a lot of it's unknown. Like a lot to do with space, like a lot of it's untraveled, unknown territory. And it's fun to think and when you write stuff that's deep into the future too. It gives you so much room and so much stuff to play with as a writer and a creator as to, oh, how do I think things are going to be like in the future? What what if it would be like this? Like, that would be kind of cool, right? Like, so that's why I like science fiction horror is that mystery and wonder that comes with it and the unknown. And that can be really scary, too. And the fact that we get some wild, cool creature designs like the Predator and the Xenomorphs are probably some of the coolest designs that we've ever had and some iconic designs in the horror fanatics universe you know what i mean so science fiction horror sits here comfortable at this number three spot now we're here at the runner-up number two to the top dog and that's gonna be if you know me at all body horror main reason i love body horror is 
practical effects man i'm so much like on the campsite of practical effects over cgi and when you put the work in and you see that stuff go on screen it's amazing even if the practical effects don't always you can tell like oh it looks super fake or it's a rubbery arm or the head you can tell it doesn't look right just like the actor but i like the fact that you're watching something that a lot of people put their time into making to building and the fact is sometimes you get only one chance to do that shot, you know, to something that you created, you get to burn it, chop the head off or explode it or something like that. Sometimes you only get one chance at that. And the fact that it's like you capture that glory on screen and you see that in a lot of body horror films like, oh man, like Scanners is a great body horror film. Some of my new favorite ones that recently came out are Titan. You know what I mean? That is a fabulous one for sure. Possessor is another great more recent body horror film. Society, even Hellraiser. It's just those films, they go such a long way in seeing, pushing the limits of what can we put on screen and what can we do with practical effects and make people kind of uncomfortable and just like, Ugh. like some, some of these films, like you do not want to be eating food when you watch these movies but i like that aspect because like i said they push the limits of what can we get people to watch to make them feel like oh, oh i don't know if i should watch this like do i have to peek through my eyes like that's why i like body horror and like oh man there's just so many great ones out there and it's great like for real and that's what it's it's very comfortable here at this number two spot but of course there's a top dog my number one favorite subgenre of horror I was raised on 80s slashers, baby. Jason Voorhees, Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, Leatherface, those guys are my jam. Those, This is the subgenre that got me addicted to horror, that got me obsessed with horror films. I started experimenting and traveling into other horror subgenres, but slashers was the main one, and it's because they have so many iconic characters. And you get into these villains like, yeah, you can be oh, on the side of I like protagonists and I want them to, to survive or I want them to succeed. But then it's like, no, I'm, sometimes I'm on the side of Jason Voorhees and Freddy Krueger and Michael. I'm like, you got to get these belligerent little children assholes who don't listen to their kids or they're trying to get away with something or they're thieves. Like there's some aspects where it's like, oh, karma's going to get to them. And that's what it kind of feels like sometimes is it's the boogeyman. It's karma. It plays on this fear, too, of that a lot of times anybody can be a slasher. And sometimes people talk about how slashers are just kind of one note. But it's like, that's not true. There are some slashers out there like Norman Bates, for example, who's a very three-dimensional slasher, a very tortured mental mind. And to watch his transition throughout the films, like what happens to him, it's great. So slashers, there are some in-depth great slashers but also there's some other good ones that are just like popcorn flicks like friday the 13th is one of my favorites it's got awesome practical effects a cool awesome killer antagonist guy you know tits nudity all that kind of stuff rock and roll drugs it's like a just like a party in a movie and you can just sit down and like I said have popcorn nachos drinks and just enjoy the hour and a half and escape you know for a while that's why, like I said, slashers, it touches on all these elements. Plus, you can have comedy layered in there. But then you can have some really serious slashers, like I said, like Psycho. So that's what's cool about slashers. And like I said, that's what I was raised on. And that is my diehard number one. What got me into horror the most and is my favorite subgenre of horror. But of course, like I said in the beginning, this is just my list. I would love to hear from all of you in the comment section. What are some of your favorite subgenres of horror? And make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned to the channel because I'm going to be going through all the Psycho films. I had a Twitter poll posted on my Twitter account and they voted on Psycho being my next franchise binge. So I'm going to watch all the Psycho films, pop out reviews for them, and then rank them all against each other. So like I said, stay tuned to the channel. And of course, have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.